Hey everyone, this is Mike with JetAdmin, and in this video we'll learn how to work with field types in JetAdmin. And as an illustration, I've prepared this beautiful, let me minimize that, this beautiful table in Airtable that has lots of different field types. Uh, these, this field, for example, here is rendered as single select. This one is checkmark. These are images and PDFs and the date. So that looks really user friendly and looks really nice. And obviously we want this beauty inside of JetAdmin as well when we connect our Airtable. But if we look into what we had here in JetAdmin, it doesn't look much like it. But we can make it much better in just a few minutes. So the way you change field types in JetAdmin is, is that you go into this column of interest. For example, here, our category, we want to render, render it as single select. We go here, we click these three dots, click edit field, and right away we can choose, we can change the field type. You can scroll through all the options or just type the search in, in the search and I'll, I'll just choose select. And selects can be tricky in JetAdmin. It's not a trivial field type. And I will cover how to work with selects in particular in a separate video. And for this video, I'll just use a shortcut here using load options. So essentially, we'll just grab all those values, unique values from this category category column. Design projects looks great. Okay, choose category here, category here, generate. And here it is, we click save. Great, and the colors are great, awesome. We can change the colors, make a few more tweaks here and there, but once again, it's not the topic of this video. So we'll move on to the images here. Image here is rendered as a text. You can see all the columns here have a sign to help you identify the field type. And here is a plain text. We follow the same process here and find image. And there are lots of settings here that might be overwhelming in the beginning, but don't worry, you don't have to change here anything. In case of error table, at least, you just click save. And it's gonna show our pictures. Great. And the last is PDFs. Follow the same process. And we find file. Oh, my bad. File. All right, here it is. Click file. Once again, don't pay too much attention to this to these advanced set the settings here. Click save. Great. Now you can see the icons for the files where we have those files. All right. I hope it was helpful. Okay. Have a great one. Bye.